Hey everybody, I'm going to show you something now, and if you watch my videos regularly, you're going to realise why this should blow your mind. Upside down. Do you recognise this? Yeah. It's Betty Sprocket. Now, if you don't know what that is, basically a couple of months back, I sent out one of Betty's old sprockets, my old bike's old sprocket, and it was going to get taken by vlogger to vlogger. It was like a mobile geocache, if you like. Um, and videos are going to be made, and then they'd like someone to see the video, go and collect it, and go to the next one. Um, it did about five jumps in about four or five days and <laughs> then it went missing and um, no one knew where it was because um, no one admitted to moving it no one admitted to stealing it it had just disappeared ginger took a lot of stick because he was the last one to take it out um, people were suggesting that it was his fault and it fucking wasn't so you're now saying what the fuck spicy what the fuck is going on i don't understand well I got a message. Well, actually, let me tell this story myself last night when I went to collect it with my good old mate, Ginger Biker. You're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> me and Ginger. <laughs> I'm blinding driving. Um, let's turn this off. You know the sprocket that went missing? Well, basically, I've had a message this evening saying that the, someone said, basically, I have it. I fucking have it, and I'm going to give it back to you, and I want you to come and meet me. And of course I was like, fuck no! Besides the fact that I was busy earlier this evening, um, and Justin was down this way, so we've decided to go down. Fuck. Can you use your name, Yeah. Ah, Ginger! I don't have to go, Ginger Biker! Ginger Biker! Um, yeah, Ginger was down this way anyway, so we've decided to go down and try and collect it. Now they wanted me to go down at like 10 o'clock. And they were like, come down, and I was just like, uh, no. It's, I mean, okay, yeah, in reality, what's the chances of someone doing something? Rape train! Right, yeah, rape train. But, um, you yeah, know, still. So we're going to go down there and be all sly, see if we can see it. And if it's not there, we're just going to do a bit of dogging. Are we going to do some dogging anyway? Yeah. Okay, Hang on a minute, is this, is this the second car vlog we always promised? Yay! It only took us, what, two years? How to give a blowjob is now become how to go dogging. Yes, yeah, I know. Dogger's guide. But yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned. At first I read the name as something along the lines of John, and, and then I read it properly and realised it said Joanna. I'm not gonna say the rest of the name. I respect them for returning it. Apparently we apparently I lose. I don't know why. I don't know what I've what I've lost or why they think taking it was was beneficial, but apparently they fulfilled their plan, whatever that was. I'm expecting excrement. To yeah, be. I am expecting excrement. <laughs> a shit in a box. Have you brought gloves? Uh, no, no, I'm not touching it. If, if it's brown, I mean, they're kind of clear shit. <laughs> oh, Hang on, there's a, bike, there's, a, there's a bike, there's a bike. Camera down, camera down. Camera down, camera down, camera down. Oh, every biker looks like a suspect. Right, okay. No. We're, gonna, we're gonna be all sly, you know. And Am I going the wrong way? No, you're going the wrong way. Is that a focus now? I can't tell. If that focus shut up, it's dark. You can't see anything in light. Oh, look, this is... Hang on. We're now coming up to uh, the fair. Right, camera, camera down. Do we know it's not? Do we know they've got a bike? I don't know if they've got a bike. I don't know if they've got a car. Do they leave benches outside? Because they said... Is there, a there is a bench outside. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, I'm scared. Apparently it's under that one. Oh, okay. Shit, I can't, can we see? Oh shit, it's It's actually fucking there. Fuck. Right. You're just things. gonna run out and grab it. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> I feel responsible for it being nabbed, but you can fucking get it. <laughs> oh, I'll go and get it. On that's, the drive. That's, that's okay, I don't worry about that. Man. Right, we've done a 360. They're not here, are they? No, no they can't be. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going to check for excrement. <laughs> I'm scared. What was it? If they run out and grab you, run them over. Okay. If you get, to, um, well, it's, it's dark. But, you know, you there's, there's a torch if you want it. Can you see out there? Yeah, yeah. Bye, Spice. Nice knowing you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Oh, he's so he's so brave. It's like Jurassic Park. What happened to the goat? What happened to the goat? There's no sprocket. Oh, the motherfucker. There's no sprocket. That's the... So what's going to be Britain? <laughs> doesn't smell like piss. It doesn't smell like piss. Okay. Oh, that's going to go okay. Give me the... Give me the Should we move location? Yeah, just move and I'll... 
I'm getting a feeling there's going to be something written in this book. Well, like a clue. Uh, it's busy. I've hidden the sprocket in my flange. Well, that is the tub, isn't it? What, what, what the fuck? Okay, I'm going to have to pull up somewhere and try and read this, because yeah. I can't fucking read this. Where should we pull up? Somewhere safe. I'm, I'm thinking leaving the whole area. <laughs> yeah. I need to get bread. So yeah, that it's that those, but it's half past ten. Yeah, what time does it shut? It closes at half past ten. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry for the out of this video that's been dark, but you know, it's, it's fucking dark. It's like Blair Witch, like, shaking. <laughs> 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 so just remember, people, what we said about blowing and sucking still stands. <laughs> yes, that's true, actually. Yeah, if things haven't changed, you don't, now don't want to start blowing on cocks. He is on L plates. Who? The, per the bike that's just shot down there. So, uh, well, that might. Do you think he's There's lots of people on scooters around this time of night. Do you think Don't get too paranoid. This isn't the mafia we're dealing with, this is motor vlogging. Prozies? No, maybe not. Ooh. It could have been a prozzy and a pimp. Spicy Island is just like gangsters I just, and hoes. I just don't get the whole, like. They wanted to. They wanted me to come down and talk to them. I don't understand this. Like, if someone steals something that you're doing, you, you get a negative view of them pretty early on in that conversation. They're going to have to do a lot to make up for that. Yeah. I can't wait to try and read this note. Well, well psychos do like kebab. Oh god. Right. Oh fuck hell. Are they definitely shut. Yeah, they're definitely shut. Oh. Okay. Oh shit, are we going to look like we're robbing the place? No! <laughs> <laughs> Try and read that. Okay. Dear Spicy 110, let, it is like my hand ran. Let this be a lesson to you. I watch your videos and I always... Straight what? That's, what I, that's where I got lost. I always... Always track your movements. Okay. Tracking my movements, okay. Tracking movements. If I catch you doing any event, competition, or games again, I will put on an end to it. What I've done here is what I'm capable of. Off? That's what they're capable of, okay. They're capable of this. Okay. That's a bit worrying. I'm local and smarter than you think I am. I hope to see you soon. Love from very angry biker. A very angry biker. Thanks. Oh, I'm in it. Is that ginger there? That does say ginger. And food. It was very nice. That was very nice. Oh, so they had the frazzles. They had my my um, wheat crunchies and wine gums. Oh, was that wasn't there. There wasn't. Everyone keeps going on about yeah, bacon. There was no bacon. People going on about oh, it's because of where ginger old ear left it. No. No, it was just someone stole it. And I'm glad this very angry biker has enjoyed it. Hmm. I'm guessing it's not the angry biker, i.e. pickle poo. I'm, I'm guessing it's not. I think he had a crash, so he's a bit busy at the minute. Get well, angry biker. I don't, I don't look, look, this is, this is how angry, oh, this is how angry they are. Look, so angry you can't focus on it. They've drawn a picture. Is that a st a dagger. It's a dagger. I think technically you could go to the police. That's, yeah, technically that is kind of threatening. So just to reiterate, there is no cog. There isn't. There's no sprocket. They didn't mention. There's, there's a pen, the pen and the box, and uh, and, and the nothing box. else. Mm. So is there apparently I lose. I, I don't. We've got the original notes, so they haven't taken. We up. have got the original notes. We did that? You wrote that. Yes, I did write donkey penis. And then we've got Fisher Boy. I've got the Percy Pigs. I win. See, now people say to me I'm paranoid for not pe meeting up with people. People say to me that I'm crazy for fearing the stranger people on the internet. I was pretty scared to come down. I'm pretty justified now. Yeah. This was kind of it's kind of scary. Uh, I. Can you blow my face? I don't want you to see it anymore. How are you going to turn that into a vlog? <laughs> How am I going to turn this into a vlog? Very easily. Mm. This this is reality. I could do a review of the Nissan Micra. No, let's not do a review of this Nissan Micra. Actually, I don't want them to know what car I've got now. 
I've changed my car, it's not Corsa anymore. It's a Nissan Micra. Shit. You know. It's not silver. <laughs> Look. An armrest. It's got it's got an armrest. So this is like it's outside like, of right, hang on. Outside of Tesco's at 2242. And you want to review the armrest of a Nissan Micra which isn't silver. Look. Uh, that's good. Every car should have an armrest. H how's the gear stick? You can just about reach it. I think it's for when you're dogging. It's a dogging aid. Not one of those fold down one specials. Mm. Well. Holy mofo. I'm just glad we didn't get raped. Yeah. I suppose the question is now is it going to continue? Yeah. Do you know what? I think leaving sprockets out with notebooks, as nice of an idea it is, is a magnet for nutcases. Yeah. Well, I hope this And I was going to give a genuine, like, thank you for returning it, okay, whatever, it just adds to the story. I was I'm being glad, nice. Glad there wasn't shit in the box. There, well, <laughs> Actually, don't give him ideas, because next time you're like, next time, there's gonna be No, there's going to be no fucking next time. There'll be a shit in the box. There will be a shit in the box. Yeah. But, um... At least we got the Tupperware back. The thing is, it's strange that they were able to go and get it. Yeah. From so far away, and yet... They're local. They're local. Well, they're obviously on a bigger bike. Why are they obviously on a bigger bike? Because... <laughs> <laughs> it would take ages on L plates to get to Oh, yeah, he's going anywhere. But he's smarter than us. I know. So... Right, um, well, this was scary as fuck. Yeah, I'm t we're alive. We survived, for now. And if you have the sprocket, I hope you enjoy it. We're not coming out again. Okay. So the box, the notepad and the pen were returned, but the sprocket was not. And it ca and the message I got telling me we got Nick from a bogus account, wasn't it? So there was nowhere else I could go with it. So that was that. Until I thought, no, I'm just going to have a look. Subcategory, subcategory, subcategory. And one little box had some writing in it, and it was a name. The, the, the initial in the middle was the same as the name on that bogus account, but the first and the last name were different. So with a bit of Googling on that name, I managed to get an account on Facebook to a guy who lives in Portsmouth and rides a motorcycle. Too many fucking coincidences right there. So we know this is the guy, right? <laughs> but it was something about that note that had me thinking that this is the power we have. I've heard this before somewhere. This has been boasted at me before. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, you might know about an account called the Portsmouth Crow, which is basically a guy who acts as a crow. Because you know I've got the whole fuck off crow thing. I sell stickers and everything. Um, and he basically sticks up for the crows. And there's a bit of banter about it and it was funny. Well, I'm now at this point 99% sure that they're the two and the same people, you know. So... Then I thought, well, how, how can I get a connection here? Because, you know, there's no connection between the Twitter and the Facebook account at all. So I went onto that personal profile, got something they posted a couple of days ago. I then basically went backwards and forwards between the bogus account and the crow with bits of information backwards and forwards, lead ending with something that had been posted on their wall only two days before that they knew that it had to have been what they posted. And sure enough, I get a reply. The Portsmouth Crow and the guy who stole the sprocket were the same people. I knew this at this point. So they knew the jig was up. I now get a message that says, at this point, I'd like to take the opportunity to apologize to you. I didn't mean to upset you or any of the people, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it was a group of like six guys who thought it would be funny to steal it because they thought it would create a media outrage and uproar, you know, to see loads and loads of people really pissed off and uh, yeah, so that was basically their plan. Uh, why they didn't actually return the sprocket, I don't know. I'm guessing they're a fan and they wanted to keep it. Otherwise, why the fuck would you want to keep something that's just a piece of metal? That's only significant is the fact that I owned it. And that's only significant if you watch my videos and are a fan of my channel. So I assume that they are, but they wanted to try and fuck with me. Now, I did reply to that message. Did I say you fucking bunch of knob ending? No, I understand. There was a group of guys, and between a group of guys, you can have a thing called diminished responsibility. In other words, the guilt is shared. None of them feel quite as bad. So they thought it was funny to do. And it's not very often in life 
you get a chance to influence someone on YouTube's videos that way, you know? Now, personally, I think if he'd moved it and put it somewhere else and made a video, you know, that would have influenced the videos too and wouldn't have pissed people off. But, you know, I can understand with diminished responsibility how this could seem funny. So I'm not being a dick about it. I'm not like, you fucking cocks. I'm not happy that they did it. It just caused a lot of bother, basically, because I've had loads of fucking messages and shit about the forwards asking out what was going on. So that is that. That is what happened to the sprocket. I wouldn't have known any of these things. I would never have made the crow connection or any of those other things had it not been for the way that they worded stuff. Um, I'm almost in one mind of thinking that actually it isn't five guys. It is just one guy who was trying to diminish the responsibility by, you know, saying it was a group of guys. But whatever, as I say, I'm not pissed off. I said to the guy, look, fucking keep it. I'll, I'm going to start it again. I am, guess I'm going to start it again with another sprocket. This will be the last time I ever do something like this, exactly like this, because it is not going to work. I am expecting this one to be stolen within fucking five minutes. Especially after all this rigmarole. But because I want to be able to try and give that opportunity back to the newer vloggers, I'm going to try it again. If it fails this time, then I'm sure you're going to understand it's a waste of time. So I will do that in the future. Using the original notepad, it will continue with a new sprocket. Well, an old sprocket, but a new sprocket, you know what I mean. So that's the whole story, start to finish. Took a bit of detective work there, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm being big headed here. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Uh, it was the connection between the crow and him that got, uh, getting him to basically admit that they were one and the same person by just using bits of information in the right places. So basically, that's it. But I have one last thing to say. Crow, you are not smarter than me. It took me 10 minutes to work it out. But there's something else I'd like to say. FUCK OFF CROW! Each person needs to write their bit. So in now we're back in neutral, you can see what's happened like here is the selector this is board what it looks like. has been moved across, which is moved this, which is called a dog clutch. And basically the way that this works is it's a little collar which is attached 